How's it going, guys? Steven here. Wanted to talk to you about something I saw in the news about a week ago. Saw a couple articles online about it. But there's a, uh, a growing rate of suicide amongst veterinarians. And uh, it's, pr it's pretty serious, guys. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the articles. Here's an article. Um, this one's by NBC News. You can see uh, veterinarians far more likely to die by suicide than other Americans research shows. As more women have become vets, their suicide risk has, sharpen, ri has risen sharply, according to CDC researchers. Let's take a look. Let's see. I um, believe this research was originally published by the Journal of the American Veterinary Medical Association. They reviewed the records of uh, over 11,000 veterinarians who died from 1979 to 2015. According to this article, it says the female vets are 3.5 times more likely to die by suicide than was the general population. And male vets, the ratio is 2.1 to 1. Uh, this, is, this is terrible, guys. Um... Overall, men accounted for about 82% of suicides by veterinarians during the study period. Roughly a 4.61 ratio compared to a male to female ratio of about 3.6 to 1 in the general population. Go through this real quick so you can see. Let's see if I miss anything. <laughs> well, guys, if, if we go back... To Google, you can see this goes back a couple years. I've been seeing this for a while. See, here's an article. September 19, 2016. Why do so many veterinarians commit suicide? Here's an article. I, I had seen this a couple months ago, actually. Back from 2017. This was on Cracked. Let's click here. Four shocking reasons veterinarians have a huge risk of suicide. So this this problem has has been going on for a while. It's it's getting worse. It seems like it's you know it's increasing each year. <laughs> See back in in 2017, I don't know what. Where here? Let me click this real quick. Okay, here's from a journal. Let me go back. So back in 2017, they were four times more likely to kill themselves than the general population. This article mentioned some of the reasons for them committing suicide. Let's see, uh, what's the first one? Veterinarians are frequently targeted by internet hate mobs. <laughs> I'm just going to read the reasons off here that Crack mentioned. Uh... Number three, you deal with extreme loss and death daily. I always thought that would be the hardest part about being a, a vet. Or especially, you know, the person that works for, you know, the, the local animal shelter. Imagine doing that every single day. That would be the worst job in the freaking world. Number two, owners can get ugly when you talk cost. I've seen that happen in person. And then number, let's see number one. When euthanasia is option, it starts to look like a good one. That makes sense. I'm going to go back to this real quick. I want to talk about this first point right here. Veterinarians are frequently targeted by internet hate mobs. I've been telling people in my raw diet group to take it easy on vets um, ever since I came across, you know, this most recent articles. Really opened my eyes. I, I, I didn't know how big the problem was or how you know fast it's growing. And probably the place you see the most bashing on vets is uh, veterinarians it's raw diet groups you know every raw diet group you see it you see people bad mouthing vets and you see people acting like the vets want your dog to be sick on on purpose and that's not true i mean <laughs> there's probably no people group of people that love animals more than vets that's why they became veterinarians because they love animals they had this love for animals they wanted to help them. They wanted to save them. That's why they went and they spent all this money and all this schooling 
to be a vet. Um, I don't know exactly how much it is for vet school. Let's here. Let me look this up real quick. I know it's in the hundreds of thousands. Let's see. I need. To, I want to know this. Let's see. Uh, come on. Okay, how much is veterinary school? Wow, okay, for four years, it ranges from 147,000 to 250,000 for in-state resident tuition. So of course, if you, know, if you go to school out of state, it's gonna be a lot more. I've heard of some people going out of the country to places like St. Kitts and stuff. It's it's cheaper to do that. But I mean, that's crazy. That's, that's like that as much, if not more than medical school. And these vets are never gonna make as much as a normal doctor is. Some of them are going to make, like, not even half of what a regular, you know, human doctor is going to make. So I, I would attribute that to one of the facts, one of the, you know, causes for the, the increase in suicide, probably because there's an increase in student loan debt. I don't know if that has a correlation. To me, that makes sense. You know, these people have this crazy debt. They don't know how they're ever going to pay it off, how they're ever going to get, you know, out of this mess, along with the other attributes and factors that were mentioned, you know, it's, it's terrible. And the last thing your vet wants is, you know, after they deal with death every day, you know, they deal with putting animals down every day with sick animals every day. And then the crazy hours they work. I mean, vets, vets work hard. I've seen them. <laughs> like when you go to the vet, they're, they're normally like winded, you know, they're like, <laughs> you know, going from room to room you know they only spend a couple minutes with you because then they're gonna go into surgery you know they got to perform a spay or neuter they i mean they gotta go you know and put a dog down or take an x-ray they're busy they're busy busy people and the last thing they want at the end of the day is to you know see and hear you bash them online because just because they they're not just because the vets aren't for raw diet does not mean they're bad does not mean they want to hurt your animal and they don't want your animal to live as long they're doing what they think is best most of these vets are just you know they're telling you what they learned in school and it's not the vet's fault it's the the dog food companies that made the curriculum for the vets it's their fault it's 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 those assholes who you know are just trying to make money and so, yeah some vets are smart enough and you know what some vets they know feeding raw is better but they still will advise you against it because they don't trust you. They they think you're stupid. They they don't think that you can make a properly balanced, you know, raw diet or you know, meal plan for your dog. And they're, it's true. Most people most people can't do the research and take the time to make a balanced meal for their animal. It's 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 just a fact. And those people need need to be feeding kibble, and and, and that's fine. But by no means should we say that vets want to hurt our animals on purpose or they you know they want them to be sick so they make money get the fuck out of here that's not true <laughs> it's not true at all that's so everyone in my group um dog raw diet and nutrition the free and open discussion i encourage you let's not badmouth vets um i won't censor any any content in my group because that's that's not what I do. If someone wants to make an ass of themselves, they can. They're more, they're more than welcome to. We'll put them in their place. But let's let's lead by example as always. <clears throat> and let's let's say you know your vet is telling you you're hurting your dog. Don't feed your dog a raw diet. Find a new vet. And first of all, why are you telling your vet like? I've heard people say they go and they argue with their vet every time and it's a big fight. Why Why are you doing this? Why are you starting shit with your vet? What's What's the point? What are you gonna accomplish, you know, by picking a fight with your vet? You might mention it the first time just so they can look, you know, make sure everything's good, make sure nothing's weird or whatever. Or if you run into problems, yeah, yeah, you can mention it, but there's no reason to bring it up every time. There, there's, I mean, there's just not. So, you know, if, if, if you want a vet that's going to be, you know, pro raw diet, you, 
you know, telling them, oh, it's good, I've been feeding it or bringing up articles or whatever. You're, you're not going to convince someone who's $147,000 in debt that what they learned in school was BS. You're, you're, you're just not. So don't even bother. You want a vet that is pro-raw, go find one. It's that simple. They're out there. I know a bunch of them. They're awesome vets. They're usually typically the best vets because they've done the research. They want what's best for the animals. But don't pick don't pick a fight with your vet, you know, your local community vet or whatever. Those people can still save your animal. If your animal's sick, that they they can help you out. They can give you the shots that you need, whatever. They know what they're talking about and they want what's best for your animal. So let's 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 not bash these vets anymore, guys. They're they're having a hard enough time. There's a lot of factors that's leading to you know attributing to this. And it's it's really serious, and I, I hope that we can figure out ways to, to help them out and get them the help they need. Because this is this is sad. This is unfortunate. These these are people, and like I've always said, at the end of the day, people are far more important than animals. You know, we're we need to take care of each other first before we can take care of our animals, and so we can do a better job taking care of our animals. So, just wanted to talk about this with you guys. Um, I thought it needed to be addressed and I hope that, you know, maybe if you've been critical of vets in the past, maybe, you know, kind of change your tune in the future. Um, the more we know, the smarter we are, the better we can handle situations. So guys, spread this video. Um, feel free to drop some of those articles and your raw diet group and my, I, I know I've, I've done that. I, I dropped an article in my group and I had a couple comments. People were like, I had no idea this even was going on. And I, I think most people don't know what's going on. So maybe drop a couple, you know, articles in there next time someone's bad mashing vets to bring awareness to it. And hopefully we can, you know, we don't want to, you know, add to, to the problem. We want to, you know, try to make things better. So guys, drop a comment below if you have any questions. Go join my raw feeding group, Dog Raw Diet Nutrition, a free and open discussion. We got an Instagram as well. I'm gonna plan. I plan on dropping a video probably tomorrow that is also raw diet related. So I will see you guys later. Peace out.